<laughs> Hello everybody, in this today video today, it's going to be a short video, we're going to talk about, um, I'm going to talk about the wood finish that I use for all these outdoor uh, wood carvings that I've done, spar earthing and how I apply it and what I think about it and this and that. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven carvings to uh, spray. So I spray it on. So let me get all set up here and we'll get uh, we'll get to it. I'd call today a perfect day for uh, spraying the clear coat. I am going to spray this owl here, the moth owl. I got it set up on the log. Um, all right, so. I got everything blown off, like all the sawdust off it. I kind of made it so there's no sawdust around here when I'm blowing them. This one already has a coat, this owl. This lighthouse already has a coat. I'm going to take this top off, but I'm going to leave this rope, and this isn't the real rope I'm going to use. I'm going to leave this rope in because it's got the holes there. I don't want to spray these, and then it fills inside the holes, and I can't get the rope in. So once I'm done spraying it, I'll pull this rope out. Okay, so that's... That's already got one coat. That's got one coat. This wizard has nothing yet. Um, these don't have coats yet either. When I first do the first coat, like I'm not going to do it on this one, but for this one, I use the spar earthing. I mix it with mineral spirits a little bit. I put a little bit of mineral spirits in there. Just I did open up the back door, so I'm well ventilated. So make sure you do this in a well-ventilated area and have a friggin' mask on, some kind of mask, you know, like, because you don't want to be breathing this stuff in and make sure it's well-ventilated because you don't want to blow anything up, right? Because you're going to be spraying this so it makes it flammable. And right here it says flammable on it, right? So for the, normally for the first coat, I put a little bit of this in here, mineral spirits, and mix it in, in here. All right, I'm going to try and explain this slowly because it makes it makes this stuff thinner and it will get into the pores of the wood better and then give it a day or two to seal properly. So, but I'm not going to do that today because there's a, there's a couple pieces that like that owl and stuff don't have a first coat, but that's okay, whatever. And this, these ones here that I carved, I painted yesterday to paint them, this paint almost acts like a sealer. So, now, this spray, I think they're called, I think you get the glass ones. Sorry, it's not the best lighting, but this one I bought on Amazon. I think it's in my Amazon store. The, you get the more expensive ones like this. I think they're called critters. And they got like where my pinky's tapping. They're the glass jars. They're called critters. So you see here, let me put my hand behind it so you can see. So... We're closer to my thumb, the back here, where the air goes in. It just pushes air out where my finger's tapping. And it sucks the stuff out of here. So it doesn't, this is a lot easier to keep clean. When it doesn't come through, when the air doesn't come through a shaft here. And you got to pull out needles and stuff like that. There's no needles on this. You just got adjustment screws right there. So this is, I might go through a couple of these a year. It's all right. And you got to remember, this can was like, I think it was like, 180 or 100 dollars let's see if we can get some better lighting here this spar earthing does make your pieces go a lot darker okay i'll say that for now for sure so i got the clear satin whatever the more coats that you put on your carving of this it's going to make it better protective i like to do three coats personally or maybe even four and then it's going to last a good 10 years outdoor with without even the stuff cracking or anything. So even if you, I don't know if they have matte, this, this is satin, even if they have matte, this stuff's going to be shiny the more coats that you put on it. So you see here, this lighthouse already has one coat on it, but it's not shiny because it sucked into the wood. I thinned it down, it sucked into the wood. And this owl here, nothing shiny on it yet. So like I say, the more coats of that spar earthing that you put on it, the shinier it will get. And it's going to get shiny, I guarantee it, even if you get matte. So pretend this is clear coat. This is a, this black spray paint, but this 
This is what I use for indoor stuff, this Rust Olam clear coat, right? But this stuff lasts, does not last outdoors. Even if you give it four coats, a year or two later, you're going to see it starting to crack and come off the carving. So this, I, I think the best stuff, and this is just my opinion, I think the best stuff out there is spar urethane. I really do, and some people might disagree with me. You know, I got this urethane, this pro stuff here too. I'm sure this stuff's good too. Sorry about terrible lighting, but that's just kind of this stuff here. I got to put some mineral spirits here and thin this down, but today we're going to use the spar urethane. Now, is there anything? I like to have everything set up. So when you got some, when you got a spray gun like this, you need to have a compressor, right? Obviously. So you need to turn your compressor down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this up, put my mask on, and we'll see if we can do a little bit of filming me spraying it. I got to set my compressor to the perfect thing. Also, a big thing about using the gun, spray gun, you save yourself lots of sealer. When you when you put this stuff on with a brush. You're going to go through twice as much sealer than when you use a gun. That's just, an, again, my opinion. And also, when you use that sealer, that or any kind of sealer, so this would be the end grain right here. Soak it on thick when you're, when you're putting it on the end grain. So Because right here where I'm tapping, it's the end grain of the log. Right, right here where I'm tapping, it sucks it in. So put it on thick on the end grain. I'm going to take this off right now and set up. Sorry, one more thing. I just pulled this carving in here. This is first growth red cedar. I like this one for myself. I like this one for myself. So I'm going to put some uh, spar urethane on this too. Just one coat. And I'm going to put this in my yard. So. I just want to show you guys how dark the spire urethane will make this old red cedar go when I'm done spraying it. Okay. And one more thing too. Um, this is just, I'm trying to help you guys out. If you got the glasses that you wear, put on some reading glasses or something because sometimes this stuff sprays and you don't want to get it on your glasses. I do anyways. These are just reading glasses. Okay, so once again, sorry about the lighting. Um, I like to wear Dr. Liz gloves when I'm doing this because if not, I get the stuff all over my hands. We're going to start with the... Uh, is this thing recording? Yeah, we're going to start with the uh, outdoor pieces first because they're the farthest away. Then we'll do the closest ones to here. So the stir stick mixes stuff up good. I know it's mixed good. I used it yesterday. Or no, a couple days ago. All right. That there. So this just has kind of like a, a three-point thing. It walks in. One, two, three. Spin it on. I'm not the best at pouring this stuff out. They, when you buy this kit, this kind of spray gun, it gives you a little funnel with the kit. Uh, where is it? But this thing's, this thing's toast. Um, so, yeah, they give you a little funnel like that once your stuff gets um, older and you get junk in there. We're going to have to fill this up probably three times. Oh, my desk mask. So I've put this on where I thought it was locked in good and it wasn't locked and the whole thing fell out with this stuff in here. So I'm going to get my dust mask, my dust, my uh, fume mask on and um, we'll get going. Okay, so I got my mask on. You might not be able to hear me very well. And turn it up a little bit. I 
I gotta do this eagle too. It's not very good, so. Okay, I'm gonna press press. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm just taking a little break right now. You can see how dark that uh, this eagle went. That's first growth western red cedar there. Um, yeah, this one. And also, in the sunlight, you got to be careful of bubbles too, right? There's no sun out yet, but it does bubble if you if you do it lost in the sun. Here I am using my finger. When I suggest wearing gloves. So there's the owl. The eagle. And uh, so I've done these. Let's see here. Done this one too. Look how dark that went. Looks awesome. I love it. This one. The owl. Now there's a late house to do and still lots more to do.
Okay, that was a shit ton of spraying. So this owl, for example, it's just going to be one one coat. This eagle, I don't care about. It's going to be one coat. You can see I screwed up his eyes. So I just really don't care. This is just something that I'll give away. Um, another thing, too, when I talked about the air bubbles on these things, like like sometimes the, the wood will breathe out, right? Like it will give out gases and you get the bubbles. When it's still wet, you just get a paintbrush and then uh, hit them with the paintbrush. Is my camera blurry? Yeah, sorry. So for example, if you're getting a bunch of bubbles here because this is the end grain, it's going to gas out more. Just get your brush and just, or get your air blower and blow the bubbles. They'll go away. Just keep on top of them. So you guys can see how thick I sprayed it on. Like I don't, I don't, like this one I tried to go, psh, 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 but I don't care. I put this shit on thick and heavy. It's outdoor pieces, right? So, you know, even, even say for example, this is the old red cedar too. So you get little fuzzy stuff. I didn't sound that good or nothing. Just kind of push it down if you want, whatever. Even this, this was spray paint. But you can see when I first sprayed it on, how shiny it was. But the but the the wood absorbed the pulp, the friggin' clear coat I put on through the spray paint. So if I want this to be shiny, I'm gonna have to give it another coat or two. Even on the flowers, some parts gonna be shiny, some parts gonna be flat. I might just leave that the one that, the way it is. So this owl has two coats. Now you can see it's starting to get shiny. But this stuff's not dry yet. See how shiny that owl is? So what I gotta do is I gotta let it sit overnight and see how it how it absorbs into this the wood. See this lighthouse starting to get pretty shiny. And uh, the wizard, so that has, that's the second second coat kind of shiny, second coat kind of shiny. The wizard still needs to absorb the wood. Uh, sorry, the clear coat. So it won't be shiny. I'm going to give this guy two coats. I'll probably uh, put it in front of my, in, in my yard for a while. Put some succulents down in here. And it's also got a succulent plant holder up top too. I had to drill a hole. Don't forget to drill drain holes for your succulent holders. Here's this wizard. So I'll put succulents down in here. You guys can see. Got a drain hole in there. You can see it there, kind of. So, here's kind of the Shosugi ban I did. So, you can see that grain and that color really popped. So, I used more water over here. So, you see more wood color over here. I know it's not the best lighting. But that's it. I don't know what more I can say. It's like, um, don't be afraid to. Oh, one more thing. That whole can, I used it up. Don't care. Put it on thick. Let the wood suck it in. You know, if I didn't have this spray gun... I didn't have the spray gun I probably would have used two cans a can and a half anyways I still got a little bit left in here I'm gonna hang around for a bit more um, see if I miss some spots I can see it's kind of a little bit thicker here but there's no sense wasting your time when it's still wet let it dry let it cure because then you can really see what's going on see these streaks down here don't care but here I am wiping them. I'm the biggest hypocrite in the world. So that crack up here, you see that crack? I spray it like hell in there so it gets down inside the wood and hopefully it will cure inside the wood and act like glue. The stuff I do. So anyways, that's that's it for this one. I know it's nothing special, probably a boring video, but um, I got to go home, mow my lawn. Oh yeah, I got to finish the coat rack. I got to uh, screw the hangers on there so I'll show you guys that at my place you guys can't hear me very well probably because I don't have my microphone in and the, the microphone on my phone screwed up but I'm gonna leave the tent open and we'll have to come back later here and then there so a nice breeze can go through here and I'll just leave these ones outside
Okay, so I'm back here now. It's many hours later, like, I don't know, six hours later, and I got to put things away. But let's look at this, uh, this owl here. This wood was a little bit damp, so I can feel it's a little bit sticky. So this needs a good couple days to dry off. This eagle was bone dry. You know, just because you think it's dry, you see there where it's shiny? doesn't mean it's dry. So you give it a full, good full day to be properly dry before you put your next coat on. But I'm not doing another coat on that, and I'm not doing another coat on this owl. So let's look in here. I don't even, I haven't even turned the lights on. Um, this is just, let it dry here. This is not even that shiny because it all sucked. Let me turn the lights on. Okay, the lights are on. So I want this one to be shiny. It needs another coat. This one's fine, it's flat, it seems pretty dry, but so you can see how shiny the lighthouse is from two coats. See how shiny they are? And they're each going to get one more coat. I don't care, I like giving them three coats, it will make it last way longer. This top part here is like glass, right here. But I see that, I want to give it another coat, one more coat tomorrow. I've learned when putting a finish on your pieces, don't rush. Don't be a Jordy. Take your time. Let, let, let the finish do its thing. So you can see here, everything's flat. First coat. I'll give this guy another coat. A little bit shiny up there. But these guys pretty well flat. And they need to be shiny. So don't be a Jordy. Well, you can be a Jordy when it comes to this finishing video because I'm taking my time and um, I'll give these guys one more coat that's good enough and this one more coat I got to pick up another can it's expensive to give them coats sometimes you don't have to finish you know if you do a carving and you put a finish on it maybe you could charge more money or something I don't know anyways I'm gonna wrap up here tonight and that's gonna be it now I, I won't film giving these guys another coat tomorrow I'll just get them done and I'll show you guys what they look like after hope everybody's good thanks for watching the video Car infusion. Over and out.